Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. We bless your name this morning. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are high and lifted up this morning. We praise your holy name. There is truly no other God like you, Lord. I am joyful. I am joyful to give you praise this morning. I am so appreciative of your goodness this morning. So, Lord, ooh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Indeed, Lord, this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for your great mercies this morning. We thank you for waking up us waking us up this morning we thank you that we are in our right minds this morning we thank you that you have taken care of all our affairs this morning father we thank you that you have protected us in our day even remind us of your word we thank you, Lord. You even put joy in us. Our days are getting better. Father, we thank you. Woo <laughs> yes, Lord, we praise your name. We thank you. We thank you for your peace, the peace that we now have, the assurance we now have in you, the confidence we have in you. Father, we thank you. For all those goodness that you've just bestowed upon us. We thank you for your grace. Oh, wow. You know that new grace you promise us every day? Indeed, Lord, we thank you for that. Father, we are, we are being aware now of your presence. We are aware of your grace in our lives. We are aware of your new mercies indeed, Lord. We are aware of it. We acknowledge it. Father, we thank you. We truly, truly thank you for being that God to us. Oh, my God. Father, we thank you for thinking about us every day. We thank you for sending help to us every day. You release the host of angels you release ministering angels over our lives. You give us the Holy Spirit that lives in us, that remind us, that quicken our spirit on several occasions. Father, we thank you. You even give us wisdom. You even speak to our mind and tell us how to respond to things. You remind us of your word. What a wonderful Savior. Which other God? can do that no god no other god no other god in the earth no other god not buddha none of them they're all dead how can somebody worship a dead god who cannot answer prayer who cannot speak to you who cannot assist you when you need help oh lord jesus <laughs> no other god can compare to you father you are worthy to be praised we lift you up this morning we really adore you not only that, God, but listen, God, you provide for us. You provide for us. Everything that we need, you provide. You make a way for us when there is no way, when we couldn't see a way out. Father, we remember, yes, Lord, we remember when there was no way out. You provided a way for us. Lord, we just want to tell you thanks. Father, there are many things that you have done for us over the years. And we didn't learn to be thankful. So now we're making up for all of that. So Lord, we're telling you thanks for the times when we felt like giving up. And we felt like that no one cared about us. And we felt like we were just cast out and rejected by all. And Lord, you turned up. You somehow turned up. It was like at the end of the rope and you turned up. You turned up and you gave us an answer. You turned up and you made a way. Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank you. We thank you this morning. We thank you, God. Some of us who are married, 
Lord, we, 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 we pray for certain things. We pray to have children and we couldn't have children. And we were wondering what was going on with our bodies. But Lord, right when we were giving up, bang, there goes the seed. Oh, Lord Jesus, what a wonderful savior. Some of us had had some, some traumas in, the, in that area. And we thought it was over for us. And bang, you give us a baby, a bouncy baby. Oh, what a wonderful savior you are. Some of us, oh God, yes, we got married and it wasn't the right one. And Lord, you save us. You deliver us from that marriage. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes the enemy tried to condemn us because you know, the marriage is over, but the devil is a liar because, Lord, you save us. We are in a right standing with you today. And, Lord, we're serving you in holiness, in truth. We honor your word. <laughs> you are a wonderful savior. You deliver us from condemnation. What a beautiful savior you are. Father, for some of the children, for children, Lord, there were things that they have need of. We have need of when we were children. We had need of food. We didn't have food. We didn't have lunch money for school and stuff like that. But Lord, you provided. You sent a child, another child, to share their lunch with us. What a wonderful savior. Also, you provided for the school to give arms like breakfast in the morning for those who didn't have breakfast. What a wonderful savior. Father, we thank you for those blessings. Not only that, but the schools came up with this Nutri bun and milk. You know, I know for the Caribbean and the, the, the third world country, they did that for the schools and the, the children were still blessed by those nutri bun and milk for many, many years now. And Lord, we want to thank you for that. Lord, you use people in first world country to do lunch for those who didn't have lunch. Father, they contributed money. They contributed their resources and pack lunches for those kids who didn't have lunch to eat Father, what a good God you are. You truly, truly provide for us. You said that in your word. So we just want to praise you. Indeed, God, we just want to tell you thanks that never one time, especially for me, you never had to go to bed hungry. I never had to go to bed hungry. You still give me, if, it's even, if it was even one meal for the day, I still ate. I still ate. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you for the, those days. I really, really thank you, Lord. And thank you for the people in my life that we have journeyed through life together from a little child until now. Father, we thank you for those people in our lives, whether they influence, influence us in a positive way or negative way, because in the negative way, we learn how to overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Father, because you said in your word, in everything, give you thanks. So we're thanking you for all of that. And according to Psalms 103, I can't leave your word out. He says, praise ye the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good for his mercies and Store it forever. Yes, Lord, that is so true. Who can utter the, might, the mighty act of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Oh, Lord, blessed are they that keep judgment. And he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O oh Lord, with your favor that thou bearest unto thy people. Oh, visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with that with 
thine inheritance. Oh, Lord Jesus, Father, we bless your name. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. We thank you for sounds that help us to give praises unto your wonderful name. Oh, Lord Jesus, indeed, you are a great God, our great provider, our protector, our keeper. Oh, Lord, you're the best keeper of all times. There is no other. Truly, truly, from the day I was born until now, I can truly say you are a keeper, a God who really keeps. I remember, Lord, when I was little, I would ask you for several things and you answered me. You kept me. You kept me safe. Oh, Lord Jesus, there are many things that happen, but you pull me out of it and you kept me in my right mind. You put me back in my right mind when I was losing it and thought this is the end of me father you grabbed me just in time so i just want to thank you again and again i will forever praise you for those days for my my life i i forever ever thank you thank you i will not stop thanking you father because you're too good you're really 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 too good you are a keeper a true keeper Oh, Lord, you keep me. I'm telling you, Lord, you're really a good God. Indeed, you are. And Lord, you know, I just want to thank you for because in a deep way, Lord, you really give peace and joy. You do because you have a way. I don't know how you do it. I really don't know how you do it. But when the enemy tried to put anxiety on me, you find a way, <laughs> you find a way of distracting me from anxiety, from fear, from worries, and you just put peace and joy. You just always find a way. I don't know how you do it. I really don't know, but I want to thank you for just doing it. You really have a way of just sneaking up joy on me. And before you know it, oh, I forget what I was thinking about. I forget what I was concerned about. Oh, I just have joy. I don't know where it came from. I don't know how, but I have it. And I know it has to be you, really and truly. It has to be you because you're the only one who can give peace. You give an assurance. Father, I can really speak about your assurance. You just put up a, a, a peace. You know, it's a peace, a rest. Knowing that you got it. God's got it. God's got it under control. God's taking care of it. Even when the enemy tried to remind me, hey, remember that thing you need to worry about? And I said, hey, 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 God's got it. And, and furthermore, there's nothing I can do about it. So guess what? God loved me so much. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that assurance. Father, this thing is real. It's real for me. I'm telling you. It is deep. It's real. You are real to me. Oh, Lord. This is not a show. I'm telling you, Lord. I'm not trying to convince you to tell you how, how good you are. You know, like try, trying to develop a praise and trying to really feel it. This is not about, trust me, that's not it for me. That's not it for me, Lord. I really mean it. You are all of that to me. You're real. You're real. Everything I say about you, it's real to me. Oh, God. I mean it from the depth of my soul. You're really all of that to me and more. I praise your holy name. I thank you for being real to me, God. You're a real, 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 real God. Because you really do real, real, real things for me. And I really, 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 really feel you. And I sense you. I sense you really, really working in my life. Thank you, Lord. You're really, really true to me. You're the truest. You're the realest thing that ever happened to me. Believe me, Lord. You know, I will meet people. And I enjoy them. But, you know, I always have this one thing. Is this going to last or is it just for a season? But you, Lord, oh, you last forever. I have that assurance. <laughs> I have that assurance that you last forever. With others, we always have to have this little caution. Caution, 
be careful what you say, be careful what, how you act, because you might just blow it. But with you, Lord, hey, you are everlasting for real. You're the real deal. And I'm so confident that you are our Emmanuel, God with us. Hey, Shando, Ramanda Hasaba, Tukundaha. Father, we thank you, our Emmanuel. So, Lord, with that being said, there are people right now who don't understand it, who don't grasp it this way. So we want to lift up our brothers and sisters all over the earth right now. Even those who are believers in you, you know, they come to know you, they're walking, they're trying to walk by faith, they're trying to know you more. And this is what I express about how real you are, and you know, in my expression of of thanksgiving that you are really true of all of that that I said. Some are still trying to gather that. Some are still trying to really experience that, have that kind of assurance. And that I can understand. I can understand because I was there too at one point in my life. So Lord, we want to 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 ask for your intervention right now give them a revelation like you did me give them that kind of revelation of your realty of your trueness of your evidence of your proven evidence in their life oh god knowing that you're really always there you always care and you never gave up in spite of the challenges, in spite of the attacks, the disappointments from the, the, the realm of the natural and what people do to them. In spite of all that, you are still there. You care. You're looking on and you're actually doing something about it. Lord, give them that assurance right now. It's a revelation. It's a perception. Only you can give. Mahakuma Saba. Just like when Elijah said to Elisha, my God. When he said to him, I pray that the scale would be removed from your eyes. That you will see that there are more with us than those that are against us. Lord, help your people. Help us all to gather that revelation. To know that you are there. You are hearing. You are answering. You are constantly chasing us to be in right standing with you. You are constantly chasing us to gather the revelation of your love. Mahanda. So right now, we ask for reinforcement. Right now, whatever it is that is oppressing your people and causing them not to gather that revelation of your love. Father, we release millions of hosts right now from your throne, from heaven, in their environment right now to destroy every works of darkness, everything that is working against your people to hinder them from walking into your love to hinder them from walking into your fullness, to hinder them from walking into the revelation of your full salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break up and destroy every darkness that is pressing against them right now that speak negative words against your throne. In the mighty name of Jesus, if we break up and destroy every wicked spirit that tried to misinterpret Interpret your word, misinterpret your love, Ramande Eputalianana Messiah. Lord, Father, because it is your will for us to grow up in you. It is your will for us to gather your revelation of your love. It is your will for us to grow in our faith, walk with you, so we can be light and salt 
to everyone we meet. Father, I pray strength over your people right now that they will gather this kind of revelation. They will grow up in your love. They will gather it. They will gather it. They will really get it so much, God, that they will run with it with so much joy and passion. Shanda just sharing it everywhere, sharing your love, sharing your true, true salvation, sharing that you're a savior and a keeper. Oh, Rabande, Lamanana Masaba. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Oh, Robo Shamba. Lord, even right now, some are listening and wondering, what is she talking about? <laughs> Father, Lord, help them to gather it them to gather it now in the mighty name of Jesus gather the reality of your intervention in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus not just the physical not just how you provide here and there and they see how you wake them up in the morning they're still in their right mind and all of that but the assurance that you got us in every way the assurance that everything that concerns our life even when the sky is falling that we think the sky is now falling and we are screaming help help bloody murder lord jesus that you are there you are actually there in the very center of the storm and you have all you have it all planned out you have our days planned out lord jesus you have everything intact you have our story already written before a day has begun you said it in your word and that settles it that kind of assurance that you already know what you want to happen in this day of our lives oh ramasata Remember Eputalia na Masaya that you already took the time to plan our days. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for that. And Lord, help your people, help us all together, that revelation of you and that assurance. And we give you praise and glory for that. Father, remember those who have not yet accepted you have not yet, you know, are even heard of you. Father, we pray, God, that you will make a way. Make a way for them to come in to your fullness. Make a way for them, oh God, to hear of you. Make a way right now, whether it be by a dream, a, a, a revelation, a vision of you, or something. God, you have a way of doing it. Father, reach them this morning. By your spirit, draw them. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. We call upon you to, to intervene in their lives one way or the other. Lord, send missionaries, send evangelists, send a believer, send somebody. Their way this morning in the mighty name of Jesus to know you as Lord. And those who have heard of you so many times, but Lord, they harden their hearts. Pray God that you will soften their hearts this morning. I pray God that your love, your love would just get in there, get deep down in inside of them and soften them up for you soften them up oh god lord give them a revelation of your love how much you love them how much you really really care about their lives and you have a plan for them oh god draw them by your spirit in the name of jesus lord we will continue to ask these things because you said we need to pray and continue praying without season Father, we thank you for hearing us in that regards. And Lord, we lift up those who are hurting this morning. We lift up your people. Whatever trauma, whatever hurt that they're going through right now. Father, you said in your word, we overcome. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Let your blood speak for them this morning. Your blood already spoken almost 2,000 years ago. Father, let them gather the revelation of that 
right now in the name of Jesus. Work out, work out whatever it is that is going on in their lives. Whatever the enemy has thrown at them. Father, we ask for your intervention right now. Release the host of heaven, millions of hosts to their to their rescue right now in the name of Jesus and destroy what the enemy has pressed against them, pressed against their mind and their fate. Oh, Robo Shanda, we pull down every stronghold. We pull down every wickedness. We pull down every attack, every arrow that has been darted against them. Father, we pull it down in the name of Jesus and release your kingdom. We release your mind over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we release your deliverance over their lives now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we speak peace to the situation. I said, peace be still right now. Peace be still right now. I speak to that situation. I said, peace be still. Peace be still in that home. Peace be still to that child right now. Peace be still to that husband. Peace be still to that wife. Peace be still to that grandparents. Peace be still to that aunt and uncle right now in the name of Jesus. Peace be still in the hospital. We release your healing now. We release angels with healing in their wings. We release your word. You said you'll send your word and heal their diseases, our diseases. So I release your word right now in the hospital, in those bed of affliction right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God. Shanda. Somebody who's going out of their mind. Somebody who's in that mental state, that hospital. Oh, the enemy lied to them and tell them they will be trapped like that forever. I speak to their situation now. And I say, peace be still. I command every spirit of affliction and infirmity cast out of their life, out of their mind, out of their body out of their destiny in the name of jesus and we say peace be still in the name of jesus peace be still i speak to every government every authority right now i said peace be still i release the host of heaven right now millions of hosts right now whatever is wrong lord god you make it right oh heavenly father i said peace be still work it out for the praise of your glory right now in the name of jesus whatever is going on in countries that does not please you oh robo kaliba lega 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 i say peace be still we pull down every stronghold every stronghold of evil that is ruling over those communities ruling over those nations right now ah we destroy every work of darkness we destroy every stronghold we destroy every wicked spirit and we release the kingdom of heaven we release the kingdom of heaven everything that is already written in heaven over those nations over the communities, over the countries, over the governments and leaders. We release the mind of God that is already written in heaven. Release millions of hosts right now from heaven. Go host, make toast. And bring the voice of God in those situations now. Go Holy Ghost, go Holy Ghost, go Holy Ghost. Release your cleansing fire. Release your cleansing fire over those nations, in houses, in governments, in leadership, in every form of authority right now. Release your cleansing fire. Lord, continue to let your blood speak for us all.
in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, remember the children this morning. Remember them, God. Keep them in their right mind. And Lord, you're a covenant keeping God. Let your word be made manifest that they will prophesy. Oh, they will be hands your hands your feet they will be your mind they will be your heart they will be your voice in their community their nation their circle of influence in the mighty name of Jesus and Lord we bless our managers our companies we bless our communities we bless our co-workers we bless our governments we bless everyone we come in contact with oh God we bless them this morning we bless we pronounce a blessing oh, I will remit the transgressions of those those who transgress against us in one way or the other we release them god because he said whomever sins we remit it is remitted which means we forgive we change our mind about them and we see them through the eyes of the cross of calvary lord we thank you for your blood that never loses its power Ashanda, we release a blessing of on every household this morning. Lord, remember all my Facebook friends and family. Father, intervene in their lives. Release your kingdom upon their lives this morning. I will destroy every spirit of confusion, fear, anxiety, madness, every wickedness against them. We will destroy it now by the blood of Jesus and the love of God for them. Release the love of God over their lives, over their mind, over their their house all over the children and everything that concerned them oh god draw them to yourself oh god for the praise of your glory lord help us to remember the goal the goal is is to get back to heaven hey shanda lord help us to help each other get back to heaven help us to be kind help us to be gentle with each other help us oh god to think twice about the things we say to each other help us oh god help us to remember that we are your hands we are your feet we are your heart we are your voice we are an extension of your throne of your love of your grace to our brothers and sisters our relatives and friends Oh, Jesus, our oh, children, oh, God, our oh, community, and to our government and leaders, help us to remember we are an extension of your love in the mighty name of Jesus. And as a custom, we always end with saying the Lord's Prayer has been instructed by Jesus himself. So we say our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. And Father, and now everyone, just open up your mouth and say with me, Lord, please, Heavenly Father, forgive me of all my sins. Wash me again, Lord, in your precious blood and help me not to repeat the things that offend your throne and cause me to be separated from you. Father, help me, Lord. Help me to get it. Help me to be reminded of your word. Help me, O oh God, to remember when I am challenged in my daily walk. Help me to remember your word when I'm challenged so that I may please you 
and give glory to your beautiful, wonderful name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Oh, I, God bless you. Have a beautiful day.